Here's what you need to know. In an age of mega mergers, it was the deal that just wasn't to be. Not that Time Warner hasn't benefited from saying no to an $80 billion takeover bid by Rupert Murdoch's 20th Century Fox. As Deadline's David Lieberman reports, news that the two had been seriously talking, and by seriously, I mean that it went all the way to the TW board for a vote, sent Time Warner stock soaring this morning in pre-market trading. The stock was up a very impressive 20%. Among its many components and regulatory hurdles, the non-deal between the two media giants would have involved the selling of presently Time Warner-owned CNN, so the new company wanted to avoid any antitrust issues. Fox, of course, owns Fox News Channel, the dominant cable news network. Coming to us straight from the Big Apple later today, David Lieberman will be explaining what this deal was really all about in another Deadline Now video. And speaking of another takeover, it was 40 years ago that the Beatles invaded America, starting with their incredibly widely watched appearances on CBS's The Ed Sullivan Show that began on February 9th, 1964. Now, CBS celebrated that milestone earlier this year with a concert special that included the remaining Beatles, Ringo Starr and Paul McCartney. Now, my colleague Mike Fleming Jr. reports that Ron Howard is going to direct a documentary about the Fab Four's intense touring years of 1960 to 1966, when they performed their last paying show in San Fran's Candlestick Park. This was the Apollo 13 director's second music documentary in as many years. In 2013, he helmed the Jay-Z-based pick Made in America. The Beatles doc, which has the cooperation of Starr and McCartney, as well as John Lennon and George Harrison's widows, will be produced by the Beatles' Apple, White Horse Pictures, and Howard and Brian Grazer's Imagine Entertainment. And lastly, we all know that LA has been hit really hard by runaway productions hitting the road for more tax-incentive lucrative states, Canadian provinces, and other countries like the UK. But according to a new report released today by Film LA, TV production in SoCal is up way up over the second quarter of last year. Now, Film LA, who are big proponents of the currently underway legislative efforts to expand the Golden State's $100 million a year film and TV tax credit program, are saying that the unseasonably strong 33.7% rise is partially due to shifting production schedules. But with TV production, like the TV season itself, now a year-round endeavor, and the fact that production has been rising for the past two years, a light might be appearing at the end of the dark tunnel. Having said that, don't put your party hat on yet, folks. Feature film production actually dipped 5.3% in Q2 2014 from Q2 2013, so there's a lot of work still left to be done. Keep checking back for more video news from the Deadline team. I'm Dominic Patton for Deadline Hollywood.